Well, what a busy morning. We've got lots of news, but we want to give you a few skinny headlines to all of you, starting with Dancing with the Stars tonight is the finale. And the last night, the final four were narrowed down to three. Now, here's your winner. Yes, there he is. All right, folks. You're all a the, big fan, aren't you? All the contestants brought their A game, including that guy, Alfonso Rubiero, who uh, pulled in per perfect scores for two of his dances, even brought out some tap shoes. Look at this. Uh, that was his second dance of the night. Sadie Robertson uh, had the fan favorite performance of the night, maybe a nostalgia inducing send up of the Super Mario video game. She danced as uh, Princess Peach and her partner Mark was Mario, of course. But after all the power pack performances, there could only be three going to tonight's big finish. Bethany Moda, Moda ended up being the final elimination. She and her partner Derek Huff had a pair of great performances, including an industrial looking freestyle that ended a perfect score. Tune in tonight. Oh, the big finale. To see Alfonso you win this been, thing. It just, you have been championing him since the beginning of this. Let's just end it, okay? It, <laughs> he's going to win it. All right, uh, one of Chef uh, Mario Batali's restaurants is being sued for $10 million. So did they serve some bad food? Uh -oh. Well, the trendy New York eatery, Babo, has apparently made life difficult for one of its neighbors who cites the restaurant's noisy air conditioners and its garlicky smell. The suit claims that Batali promised the plane Nuratin Akgul, that he would make sure the restaurant did not disturb its neighbors. Apparently, it was part of the deal for Batali to gain a special commercial permit in a residential zone. Well, Mr. Akgul told the New York Post that he can smell everything cooked in Batali's restaurant, including the chemicals oh. used to clean the exhaust. Oh, I'm not so sure about the chemicals, but I'd love to smell to everything smell else he cooks, food? right? Yeah. yeah. Well, Kelly Ripa, back in the skitty for her parenting methods. I know how I love her parenting methods. <laughs> Applauded by fellow parents who never get things like social media growing up. Yes, in an interview with People Magazine, Ripa discussed the issue of how her 13-year-old daughter, daughter Lola wants more privacy. Ripa's response, well, if you want to keep a diary instead of Instagram, then you can have all the privacy you want. I love it. Ripa has been honest about how her parenting choices and about how Lola might not really be her biggest fan right now, but Kelly's got plenty of fans on her Facebook page. So many of you reacting to the story on WNNFans.com. One of her favorite comments, got to bring this to you. It's coming from Brian C. who wrote, if you can't buy your own toilet paper, then you have no expectation of privacy. That's an easy way to sum it up. Essentially saying, kids, forget privacy. All right. Doesn't exist. <laughs>